Now, that also relates to some um, things that, like today, I'll be commenting about different people I've met. And uh, most of the people I met realise that sooner or later I'll probably comment about them. <laughs> and just as like I comment about myself constantly in terms of tell you the truth about what I'm processing. My feelings are that every single person is naked when it comes to their emotional state. How many of you don't want to be naked? <laughs> Depends who's there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean emotionally naked. Oh, okay. <laughs> and if you have a feeling that you want to retain your privacy, that is your right, of course, but at one point or other in the future, you will find that you actually do not have any privacy. Nope. Right? And what I mean by that is that emotionally, every single celestial spirit knows exactly every single thing you have ever done in your life right now. So right now, there's whole groups of spirits with us, and the majority of those spirits know exactly every single thing that you're ashamed of, every single thing that you've done, every single thing that's happened to you, and in fact, for the majority of you, they know far more about what happened to you than you know. How do they know that? Because all of those records are in your soul. All of those memories and emotions are all there in your soul. And they're all also displayed in your, what they call the aura, or the emanations or the energy that comes from your soul through your spirit body. And so they know exactly what you're feeling. Now, if I'm a malevolent spirit, if I'm a spirit who wants to misuse that, then I'll say, oh yeah, he's got some anger. I can use that anger to get something I want out of him. Or, oh yeah, he's got an issue with sexual promiscuity. I can actually use that to have some sex with some women on earth still. Right? Or, oh yeah, she's got some hatred of men. I can use that to really, you know, hurt some men around her. You know? Now, obviously, they can see these things within you. A nice bright spirit who's close to God, who's at one with God, would say, oh, poor person has that feeling or emotion. What can I do to help them expose that emotion and feel it so that it's no longer in them? So one day in the future, you will realise, if you don't already, that everything is based upon character. Do, do you understand what I mean by that? Everything, in terms of your progression, will be based on character, in terms of how you feel in your heart, whether your intention or desire is pure or not. Everything in terms of your progression with God is based on character. In other words, are you pure in your desires? If you think you can fool God, then you've got another thing coming. You can get away with lots here on earth, right? You can. You can get away with lots in your marriage, and you can get away with lots with your children, and you can get away with lots with the government, and you can get away with lots at work if you want to. Uh, as soon as you develop the intentions down that road, you can get away with lots of different things. But you can't get away with anything with God. And at some point, you want to not get away with anything with God and actually become real and be truthful about that. And that's all I'm trying to be with you. Does that make sense?